Benvenuti amici, welcome to Isabella's Bella Cucina. My name is Isabella Morgi di Vicari and I'm going to teach you the most amazing butternut squash soup with apples, sage and a touch of cream. So let's get started. So we're going to get started here. I'm going to put a little bit of butter in my stock pot and I'm going to roast these wonderful, not roast, excuse me, I'm going to saute some onions right now. Most of the time when I deal with butternut squash, I usually roast it and I make a wonderful soup that way as well. But this recipe is even simpler. Wait till you find out how simple it is. So what did I do? I'm actually sauteing these beautiful onions and I'm going to throw this butternut squash in right now. Now I got to tell you, the hardest part of this recipe is cutting the butternut squash. I'm going to be the one to say, buy it pre-cut because it is a royal pain in the neck to get it. I don't care how sharp your knife is. It just seems to be so much easier to get somebody else to do that part. And I'm sure your guy in produce will be happy to do it for you. After all, today customer service is so important. So we've got the butternut squash and we've got the onions. And I'm just gonna stir that up just a little bit right now. And now we're gonna add our stock. And it's always best when you add your stock to make sure it's nice and hot. Hear that sizzle? You can hear the sizzle, but if you could smell all of these ingredients already, just love it. So all we're gonna do at this point is just soften these vegetables. It doesn't take hardly any time at all to soften that butternut squash. So we're gonna go let this soften up, give it about 10 minutes or so, and then what am I gonna do? Throw in these Granny Smith apples. Now, when I think of Granny Smith apples, I couldn't resist. They're usually pretty tart. But I gotta tell you, when you add it in this soup, it actually sweetens it up. It's beautiful. Let's toss them in right now. Now we've got some key ingredients. I'm gonna add a little bit of nutmeg a little bit of sweet curry, a touch of cayenne, because you know I'm the chef that likes a kick, just a touch of salt, and we're gonna let this cook. It'll probably take about 15 minutes or so to soften it all up. So as you can see, I already started. The vegetables were softened. They were beautifully flavored. Of course, you have to always taste. Remember, as I always teach you, season as you go, okay? So, I love this immersion blender, but I'm gonna caution you to be very, very careful, okay? Especially, you should actually let this soup cool um, just a little bit. Now, I'm the woman that's gonna tell you I like chunks in my soup. So I'm not gonna puree it all. All right, I'm gonna leave a little bit of chunk in there. So as you can see, I've got some of those apples in there. I've got some of the pieces of squash in there. Now, that looks great. Now, if you notice, I haven't added the cream yet. Now, I gotta tell you, if you're not big on adding cream, I'd say do without it, because it still tastes fabulous. But the recipe calls for a little cream. I'm gonna add a little for you. That was probably about a half a cup. And you can see it really just lightens it up just a little bit. And of course, we're gonna take this beautiful sage and I'm just gonna chop it up. Now, again, I'm gonna say to you, if you're not a big, big sage fan, don't use it. Use basil, use parsley. 
You do need an herb in there. It does make a difference. But make it your favorite herb. Now it looks beautiful. Now let's go plate it. Now look at this fabulous soup. Anybody that you serve this to would absolutely just love you forever because this is so healthy. It's incredible. It's, the flavor is just amazing. Imagine all the vitamina. Remember those Italian words that I teach you? All right, vitamina, vitamins, vitamin B, vitamin K, vitamin A, vitamin E. It's fabulous. It's warm. It's comforting. It says that I really care so much about you that I want to make the absolute best. So don't forget to invite your familia to the table. And in the meantime, I would say enjoy. Buon appetito. Yum.